Hi there and welcome to Living the Fort Lauderdale Lifestyle. I'm Scott Newbrecht and today I'm at a community in Palm Beach Gardens called Avenir. The builder is Devasta and I'm touring luxury models today. They are spectacular. I can't wait to show them to you. Let's get started. And welcome to the River Walk model home. This is a two-story home. I'm not back far enough for you to see this, but very nice looking. Let's take a look inside. There are four bedrooms upstairs. And then as you enter the home, on the right is an office area slash study, I would suspect. And I love the dimensional windows here on an angle. Plenty of light. That's what we love here in Florida. You've got to have light coming into your home to make it bright and airy, else there's no point in living in Florida. And leaving the front office space. As we walk in to the immediate right is the guest half bathroom. And it curves around there in the corner, you can see. It's got some nice amenities in there. And this is a different floor plan from the other ones that we've seen. I like it, still a nice open floor plan. Beautiful pool out back, we'll take a look at that in a minute. As you can see, just another lovely floor plan for this home with two levels. And I love the light white cabinets in the kitchen area, very Florida. And then, of course, the stainless steel appliances throughout and the gas stove again. And this one has a unique, yeah, I don't know what you call that, a mosaic or whatever pattern. A little different, you haven't seen that. And that's an interesting table and chairs for your dining room area with the kind of caged in light up above. And then, and then to the right of that dining room area, it's like a little nook here with a built-in desk area. You can have your computer studying in there, whatever, good idea. And then just behind that desk area is another walk-in pantry area. Another one that's nice and large and deep with the door. And as always, you know I love these center islands and this one does not disappoint. It's just integral to having a good kitchen environment and being able to entertain and having people right there with you. Now let's go back into the corner here. I just love these little mudroom areas with the coat hooks and the little cubby holes and then down below there as I've shown you that's another little I'll show you again storage area down below there which I think is a great idea and then the door to the garage. Also wanted to point out the nice, um, I think if you call that paned glass, it's etched and it's uh, not transparent, but opaque is the word I'm looking for so that you can't really see in. And then just another view of the living area. And let's head on upstairs. At the top of the stairs is a common area. They call it kind of a loft, I think. And I'm a big fan of these as well because it's like another little mini uh, living area for the kids or whatever. You could put a TV up on the wall like they have here. And it's just, you know, more added space, living space to the home. So we're in the loft. We will save the um, owner suite for last and let's take a look at the first bedroom. Boy, this has got a lot of windows, a lot of light in this one. And that makes all the difference. And look at here, we even have a window in the walk-in closet, which can be nice. And then just outside of this first bedroom is the bathroom. So this bathroom that I 
show you here belongs to bathroom, or excuse me, bedroom number one that we just took a look at, right? Well, that really is its own little suite, kind of, because the other bedrooms here share another bathroom that's just right here. Take a look at that. So just outside of that bathroom is bedroom number two. And then just across the hall is bedroom number three. About the same size. They've got day beds set up in here. And then that is the storage closet. So I'm in the third bedroom passing the second one on my right and their shared bathroom. And remember the common area. Now let's take a look at the primary. But just before we do, to the left, we have our laundry room upstairs here where everyone has all their dirty clothes. So I think that's kind of a good idea. Let's take a look at the primary suite. That's a king size bed to see, to give you an idea of the space there. And as always, I love to point out the detail ceiling. It's better than just a plain drab flat ceiling and that what makes the difference. That is what makes the difference between a luxury home like this and the ordinary. And the primary bathroom does not disappoint. Once again, large, large, large double sink area. Look at all that space. And I really like this walk-in shower. Look at how deep that goes. We've got a bench there. We've got the rainforest attachments way up above, as well as the traditional on the side. And then just take a look at these two glass windows here. I like that. Can you see that? I haven't seen it done that way. I love it. That is great. Let's pivot around here. We've got a linen closet on the left, and then of course, private uh, commode area with a door there, and then the walk-in closet area. It's quite large and nice, trust me, on this one. And just to walk back through to the primary bedroom area. And one of my favorite parts, is going to take a look at the pool outside. This particular pool, everything is screened in, which is nice because it protects against debris and not a bad sized pool and look at those little waterfalls isn't that beautiful plenty of room for entertaining wow what a community let me know what you thought drop a comment below Take a look at some of my other property tours of new construction here in South Florida and give them a thumbs up as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and until the next video, see ya.